I'm about to show you how I scaled my content agency from 2K a month to 93.5K a month in 14 months. So I'm literally just gonna get right into it. Like I'm not even gonna waste any time. So first things first, we got the offer. Then there's the hybrid acquisition system. And then we got systems and fulfillment. So I'm gonna start over all the way on the left, which is the offer. So originally I started with short form content, right? But everyone was offering basic short form content. Like they didn't have an offer. They didn't have a end result they wanted to give. But what happened was when I started out, I didn't really know what end result I could promise. I didn't know how many views I could promise. I didn't know how many sort of, I didn't know anything, right? I was a noob. This was my third time trying out, like starting an agency. I didn't know what I was doing. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a crazy offer where I'm actually just giving the deliverable, but I'm gonna put a cool spin on it. So I was like, I'm gonna make you 60 shorts in uh, two hours of your time per month. So how I did this was we'd hop on two Zoom calls per month for one hour long each, and then I would ask them questions, they would answer, I would clip it up, turn it into 60 shorts a month. And this offer was so simple, but it was so freaking fire that, or actually let me tell you why it was fire for two reasons. So basically it was low time commitment required for such a high volume of content on the client's end. And then also hundreds of thousands of views would be gained per month, which makes this worth it, right? Like if you pump that much content, like the content has to be bad, right? So I just had to do my research, come up with good questions, know how to prompt the person's brain. I was basically offering this to people as a way to multiply their time. Full disclaimer, this isn't my offer anymore, but basically this offer cooked. So I scaled this up like to 15K a month in its prime. And it took like three months, four months ish to get there. And yeah, I immediately hired an editor to take the, the editing off of my plate so I could focus on lead gen and then also just doing like the client scripting and the client ideas, so on and so forth. Um, I did this right up around like two, when I got like two clients. Um, I know this isn't an offer related thing, but I just wanted to sort of sl sneak it in here. So. Like once I got to 15K a month in four months, I realized that my client who was getting the best results was the only one doing YouTube with us. So a light bulb went off and I pivoted towards primarily focusing on YouTube, right? Because the problem with, with doing short form content was like in our prime, we were doing 360 shorts a month. So it was like 10, 12 a day. And it was a lot and I was quality checking all of that. And I'm doing 368 shorts and I'm getting paid like 15K. And I was like, I, I just didn't like it. So then I was like, okay, so this guy, he's getting like quantifiable results. We're making him money. He went from 30K a month to 75K a month. I was like, screw it. Like, let's let's double down on this YouTube stuff. So I went through a bit of a dip because I was pivoting my offer naturally. And then, yeah, so again, with the YouTube offer, I offered quantifiable end results to the client. So I'll get them like a certain number of sales calls every single month, for example, that, or that's that's actually the exact offer. I also put a guarantee on it. And a lot of you guys are too scared to put guarantees, but this is what's gonna take you to the next level. Cause it's like, bro, if I have to refund you, it's like, screw it, I'll refund you and like, I'll just make it back. And like, I'm gonna improve on my service. This also puts like a fire under your ass where you're like, okay, I have to fulfill. And it naturally just makes your service better because now you have a money back guarantee on you. So yeah, I scaled this offer to 93.5K a month. So what, what the offer was is like, I guaranteed them sales calls through YouTube and it cooked, right? I ended up adding short form content back in when I got the systems down. So that makes up like 25% of our revenue now. And then 75% is like YouTube and a couple other projects. So my exact offer now is like, I'll build your YouTube sales funnel that gets you 10 to 30 qualified calls every single month or you don't pay. And people love this, right? And the type of people I'm attracting with this offer, this is something important I wanna talk about is I'm not attracting like little people who they want video edits or you know something like that. It's like, no. I'm attracting people who they run businesses, they make money, and they wanna make more money through the videos, which is the exact person you should work with anyways, because if you're not producing a result for your clients at the end of the day, like you're just you're just a guy that they can cut off at any time and just replace with somebody cheaper. So that's sort of the offer breakdown, what goes into it. So quantifiable end result, add a money back guarantee, and that's how it goes. So next up, we got the hybrid client acquisition system. I feel like on Instagram ads, bro, people people put like, oh, this like funny name on it, like the hybrid, blah, 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 like something stupid. Like I call it simple, hybrid client acquisition system. The reason why it's hybrid is because it actually is. I didn't just make that up. I do outbound and inbound. So 
I'll start with outbound. So I had zero social media presence, so I couldn't rely on inbound marketing, right? So I started with cold outbound, which was manual outbound, like not automated. And I was sending five DMs a day using the Dream 100 method, which was basically just sending free work to people. And then I followed up with prospects continuously and tracked all the messages on a Trello board so I could know when to follow up, know all that stuff. And basically for every 100 people you reach out to, you'll sign one to two if you're doing it correctly. And this is gonna start from the third week onwards due to conversion windows. So basically what a conversion window is, is like, all right, let's say I reach out to you on March 1st, you're probably not gonna buy from me till like March 21st. That's sort of what I realized like personally. So I signed my first client in 24 days. And then also that's just what I heard from other people, students, and just other people who use the same outreach method. So one thing I really wanna emphasize is that this is not automated cold outreach. I never really had that much success with it. I've signed like three, four people from cold email, but I've sent like a lot of cold emails. Like this manual outreach prints one to two people for every hundred people I reach out to, like give me that any day. And it's like, I'm picking the people I reach out to. It's not really like the lead list and sometimes the leads squeeze through the cracks and all that stuff. So I ran, I still do Dream 100 to this day and like I'm at 93K a month, so I know it works. And my students have done it, my friends have done it and it works. And next up, as I was doing Cold Outbound, I started building my personal brand on Twitter and YouTube. I knew this wasn't gonna pay off in the short term, so that's why I was doing the outbound marketing, but in the long term, I knew this would work, right? So here were my inputs, um, two tweets a day, 10 Twitter replies to people in my niche who were like bigger than me, like around like 1K, 2K followers plus, one auto DM lead magnet giveaway on Twitter per week, threads here and there, and then like one YouTube video per week, as much as I could, I was like slightly slacking on this, and then anywhere from like 10 to 30 reels per month. So one thing is like, if I'm selling a content related service, I better be making content, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I also optimized my profile so people knew I was a real person, knew my offer and knew the outcome. So you can't just reach out to people with like a bad profile because like whenever you reach out to people, like the first thing they're gonna do is click your profile, maybe even click your website before answering you, right? So it's important to have this dialed in. And another thing I did was document my entire journey in the form of a Twitter thread. So this established credibility and gave people a reason to follow me. Some people would think like, oh, you're documenting your journey and freaking people are gonna know you just started yesterday. But I just like being honest, like, yeah, I'm that kid who, who just started like 20 days ago, I started this agency and like, I didn't care and it worked out. So I always tell people to do the same. And what's gonna happen is like, as time goes on, this thread is gonna be more and more helpful because people are just gonna click it and be like, yo, this guy started his business 15 months ago and he's still doing the same thing. Um, and it, it just helps out a lot. And then also it's just cool to look back on, you know, documenting is fun. And on YouTube, I focused on making videos explaining my offer, but also telling people how they could just do this stuff with themselves without hiring me. So I would say like, hey, how to record 60 shorts in two hours, right? I'll just tell people the method. Everybody was like, yo, how do you even do this? Like blah, blah, blah. And I just made a video on it and it worked, right? And then next up here, so for reels, I did the same thing. I posted the reels on Twitter as well. I wasn't really posting on Instagram. I kind of did, but I stopped. So I would just post them on Twitter and I'll post them on YouTube. And I gained 100 Twitter followers my first month and then 500 the second month and then like 600 the month after. So I was at like 1200 followers. Like I started the agency November 25th, 2022. Today's March 18th, um, 2024. And the follower growth is like slow at the start-ish kinda, but then it like ramps up. So you just gotta keep pushing. And the auto DMs is really what's gonna boost you here. Like I literally doubled my followers, you know, from 600 to 1200 in a month with like this one super well thought out auto DM. So next up is systems and fulfillment, right? Cause what's gonna happen is with the dream 100 method combined with inbound, you're gonna get so many clients. So it's like, you need to systemize your stuff. And as soon as I got two clients, I hired a part-time editor. So like editing is the most time consuming task. So you need to get it out. You need to get out of it ASAP. You need to start getting into the into the mind frame of like, all right, I'm a business owner, I'm doing maybe 2K a month, and it's like, I'm doing like little, or maybe I'm making 10K a month, and I'm doing tasks that are like $15 an hour, but your time is like 50, 100 an hour, 150. You know, you gotta get that stuff off your plate, right? I'm not really that guy who's like, oh, delegate everything, you know, like you should still do stuff, 
but there's so much stuff you can get off your plate and editing is just the first because it's the most time consuming. It's kind of like, okay, if you're a cold email marketing agency, the first thing you want to get off your plate is inbox management. It's so time consuming. So just the time consuming stuff that millions of people on earth can fulfill, it's probably a good idea to get that off your plate first. So I managed the editor on Trello by creating a production line on a Kanban board. So this is like cards you drag and it like changes the status. You're gonna know when it's under review, so on and so forth. And next up, I did all client communication on one platform, which was Slack. Don't be that guy who has clients on iMessage and then freaking, you know, WhatsApp, all that stuff. I got a quick typo here. And you just wanna keep everybody in one place on Slack because this makes it as you scale so much easier. At first, you know, you might be like, oh, I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna freaking do it on WhatsApp because this guy's about to give me a thousand bucks, but no, just keep it all on Slack. If you're about to like actually fumble a deal because like this guy wants to use like Discord or something, just do it. Don't be like, don't say no to money if it's like profitable, but you wanna be like assertive, be like Slack, we're gonna use Slack and it'll work if your offer is good enough. So next up, every editor could manage two to four clients um, depending on the editing quality the client wanted. So for long form, basically two to three clients and then for short form, technically could manage like three clients nowadays, but if you're doing like mid quality shorts, which is fine, some people want that, one editor can take on like five, seven clients type thing, probably five. And next up, also I would hire in advance. So like, let's say, hey, I'm growing steadily, two clients a month, three clients a month, four clients a month. And then like my turn is like, okay, let's say for every like, but like 10 clients I get, I lose like one or something like that. Then you know like what your, your growth is, right? You're gonna hire in advance. Cause what's gonna happen is if you overload the system, you don't have enough editors, pe clients are gonna be like, yo, where's my videos? And then they're just gonna like, they're gonna leave. So you can hire in advance. And the best part is we're gonna be paying these editors per video. So like, and you tell them that, you'd be like, hey, the first week you're on here, like I'm probably not gonna give you any videos other than some, some training stuff. You wanna just use that initial time to ramp them up and then boom, you get a client, pass it to them. Obviously you need a quality check them, watch over them, give them advice, so on and so forth. But yeah, one thing I wanna emphasize is when you hire someone, it's not just like, boom, I just bought back 10 hours of my time. It's more like you hire someone and it's even more work because now you're like training them on top of like making sure it gets done but that's just how it is because after like a bit, it's gonna get good. So I did all the ideation and scripting myself and then I let the editors edit and then I quality checked every video. That's how the system looked. And I basically like always went back and forth between like trying to hire people for ideation and scripting and then like firing them and then I would do it myself all the way up until like 60K a month, which was like a year later where I finally got someone who was like good at it. But all the way before that, it would like pass to someone else then always come back to me. So ideation and scripting is like easy. Like if you're skilled at it, right? You're good at copy, you're good at coming up with ideas, you understand how the content game works, so on and so forth. After I passed 40K a month, I got an operations manager for 3K a month. And uh, this was good because now like this person would manage the editors and it just made everything super easy. And after I passed 60K a month, that's when I got my good quality checker who I also promoted to copywriter. So this person does both of these. And then from 44K a month to 60K a month, I transitioned from using Trello to using Airtable since it's more customizable. But Trello is like super good and super simple. You always wanna just keep stuff simple until it breaks and then like switch over. That, that's just sort of how I think about it. I also promoted my most senior editor to the lead editor position so he could train up my editors and like kind of help manage them. And in December, 2023, so we did 60K, January um, was 87, February was 93, and this month is March, we're pushing for 100K. So at this point, I'm basically out of like almost everything. So I don't, I don't like it when people say, oh, I automated my agency, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, like you, if you even like reach out to my clients, like they'll tell you, oh, like Eamon is on, you know, he, if I ask him something, he's there. So it's like, I'm, I'm still there. I'm still doing stuff. And sometimes like tasks just pop up on your plate. Like sometimes on the weekend, like I got to schedule a video, but like, that's fine. 80% of the stuff is like passed off to other people. 20%, I still run it, but that's fine. Cause it's not a lot of work.
And, but I still do all the marketing and sales. I don't have any sales reps. I do all the sales calls, I do all the closes, I set the appointments, all that. And then for fulfillment, yeah, so I'm removed from like 80%. All I'm doing right now is like I'm quality checking the scripts. That's like the most time consuming thing. And then also like I oversee everything, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm just like keeping tabs on people, making sure like stuff is getting done, quality is good, so on and so forth and that's pretty much it what it looks like systems wise so that's pretty much how i scaled from 2k a month to 93.5 in 14 months um i basically went from zero though in 15 uh, so that's pretty cool but here's how i'm going to scale from here i'm turning down acquisition like just slightly because you never want to completely turn it off um, i'm just systemizing a couple things ramping up the copywriter more and just making like two new hires. I actually already just hired one like yesterday and then I'm trying to get one more new hire in that's gonna really push us to that next level. And that's sort of the plan. I'm pacing 200 to 250 by end of year. This is all US dollars by the way. So I do have a coaching program. I don't care, I'm gonna pitch you. So if you wanna get coached by me one-on-one -on -one and receive a custom four month plan tailored to your content agency covering what exactly you need to do to scale and get coaching calls from me every single week, hit the first link in the description and book a call with me. So here's what's inside the Content Agency Accelerator. You're gonna get a one-on-one -on -one onboarding call with me. You're gonna get a custom war plan covering how you'll take over the next four months. So inside, it's gonna have the exact next steps and how long each step is gonna take and also like just what you need to do to scale, pretty much. You're gonna get a group call plus Q&A like once per week and then you're also gonna get seven-figure content agency blueprint course. So what this means, is a course. So inside, I'm revealing exactly what I did along with my copy paste systems and SOPs that allowed me to manage 25 plus active clients. I still manage that number and a team of 10 plus. We're currently 12 as of yesterday, I guess 13. So yeah, guys, that's everything. That's what's inside. And if you are interested, hit the first link in the description and book a call with me. This program is not free. Don't book a call unless you have funds ready to invest in yourself. Um, at the moment, I'm like preferably working with people who already have like one, two clients type thing. You know, you're at like 2K a month, maybe 1K a month, maybe 3K, 4K. Uh, even if you're at like 10K or 20K a month, I can still work with you because you guys are probably still employees. Basically, you're not business owners. But if you're at like $0 a month, you should probably DM me on Instagram first. Um, but if you're at like 4K a month, 2K a month, that type of thing, like just book a call or above. I would say if you're above like 80K a month, don't book a call. But yeah, make sure to add all of your business partners to the call as well. And we'll chat soon. Peace out.